Yep, that looks pretty cool. It's actually neater looking through my iPhone than it looks in uh, real life down there. So we're going to try to apply heat to this thing and see if that helps. I think I need to put the bulb closer. I forget how many watts that is. I thought it was like 400. Can I read it? Hmm. Can't read the watts. 250 watts, I think it is. So, all right, man. We'll give it a go. See if that softens the glue. Brings back memories of my dad. <clears throat> he was a carpenter. And for doing Formica work, we'd use an iron, clothing iron, and uh, heat up the Formica countertop, and it'll soften the glue, and you can peel it right off. And this glue here is very similar, or exactly the same as contact cement. So we're going to see. Well, heat lamp is working, but it's slow. So while I'm waiting for that to heat up, it's pretty hot right there. I almost can't touch it in one spot. <clears throat> While I was waiting for that, I came back here and used my razor knife to cut. I guess this is linoleum. I cut the linoleum around this this metal trim. Where's my flashlight? Got a flashlight. Pretty sure I'm not going to have to replace any of this wood. It looks like hell over there, but the glue is just kind of pulled the top skin loose. Anyway, back to this. I cut linoleum at the edge of this metal trim, so that way the metal trim will remain supported and not be up in the air. The thickness of that, which is about an eighth of an inch. The metal trim is like kind of made into this bus. <clears throat> I mean, this gasket is glued in. There's some of that serious, I don't know what kind of rubber caulk this stuff is, but it's good stuff, man. It ain't so looking good. So, rather than, oops, sorry. Rather than uh, having it in the air, and or and or removing that stuff, I cut it. So here's a good trick for you: using my razor knife and a pair of gloves, which are not here right now. If you lubricate the blade with silicone, and the surface of what you're cutting helps too. You can see where I applied the silicone. It helps the blade slide through, and it worked. So, I got this part, this. So, you know, I need, to, I need to get a scraper over here to help me get this started. Trying to do that. But the other side, I just grabbed it over here. There, see? It's coming right out. Yeah. So 
nice looking plywood down there. I think they did a great job of sealing the wood with the glue. I gotta get a scraper or something. I made it made out of that all the way through. I think I did. But we'll see. I don't want to do that without my gloves. Well, let's give that thing another tug. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Even one-handed. Once it's hot. Yeah, it's the heat that's doing it. Even with two hands, I couldn't pull that past the spot that was warmed up. So you can see, that's a great glue, man. You know what kind of glue that is? It kind of feels like contact cement, but it, uh, it's ticks. I think this area was done without heat. And now that I'm using the heat, it's being a little bit more friendly. Let's keep at it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use diamond plate underneath the driver's seat. Kind of like that delineation between the driving area. You know, like maybe, maybe this line right here. Diamond plate. Have to measure that. It looks more like more than five feet. So, yeah. I think that would look really nice. We can diamond plate that area, this whole front area, and the steps. I've seen another guy do that. I can't remember his name. Tramp. Tramp has. I think is what it was. As something or other. It's the finest looking bus conversion that I've seen on YouTube. Trapaz. I think it means tramp in Spanish. It's a red and white bus and he used aluminum tread plate to close off the windows on the outside. And it looked great, man, with the accent of a couple other places. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And uh, you know what, this handrail, I really like it. It's such a natural, it's got such a natural feel to it for a handrail. I have to figure out how to keep that really kind of in the way for what the little woman wants to have like a shoe box or whatever up in there but we'll see because the other handrail that came on this side that that ain't gonna work at all because uh, we want to put a in place of this bus seat which is adequate as a seat this uh, it's pretty nice stuff, man, you know, as far as seats go. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but uh, we're going to put a captain's chair, reclining, swiveling captain's chair in this place right here somewhere. And um, putting a handrail on this side. It's just not going to work. I mean, I still have it in the garage somewhere up in that mess. But, uh, okay. 